In graduate school, I worked in a traditional fitness setting, but then uh, as I was finishing up grad school, I actually worked more in a setting a little bit like, it was actually more clinical, um, where we do an exercise therapy at the time. And uh, like most trainers that start out on their own, we felt we could build a better mousetrap. So uh, along with a couple of other team members at my former employer, uh, more than 20 years ago, we started Function First. jump into it, everybody thinks whether you're a car mechanic or whether you're a personal trainer, you think if you're a good technician, you're going to be a good business person. And, and that's the farthest thing from the truth, really. I mean, there's so much to learn and the learning curve really is big. And, and there's different ways you can go about it. Uh, you can sort of be that person, that A-type personality that thinks you can get it all done yourself or you could recruit help. And, you know, I spent a lot of my continuing education, uh, certainly on the science, but I also spent a significant amount of time and money invested in the business side of things and trying to grow my understanding of, of business that way. You know, we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day activities of what you're doing and, and servicing your clients, which of course is the core of your business. But, you know, you find out you're so busy working with clients, you're never marketing or you're never taking care of the books or any of that other kind of stuff. So you want to find a mentor who's been there, done that, right? We got There's a lot of coaches out there, uh, life coaches, personal coaches, and, and I think they're great too for, for a lot of things. But I, I always want to I always want to be able to look to somebody that's been there and done that and somebody that's actually achieved what I'm looking to achieve versus just kind of giving me the mechanics of it. So, um, you know, in all aspects of what you're looking to do in this industry or any industry for that matter, you might have a, you might have a mentor that's great in corrective exercise, but you might also have another mentor that's, that's great at uh, presenting. You might have another mentor that's great at sort of marketing or social media or whatever it is. So I think it's huge. I think it really pays at the beginning to not think that just because you're a good trainer or a good fitness professional that you're going to be a good business person. You really need to seek out the help, do it right, business plan, have uh, the advisors on hands, the bookkeepers, the attorneys, um, all the people that you need to get everything, to get the foundation straight and not trying to dig yourself out of holes uh, as they develop over the course of time.